Hey folks, welcome to Q&A round two. This is gonna be a feature from time to time because, well, I wanna show appreciation to all of you who take the time to leave comments. I do read all of them and they really do help me think about how to make this a better channel, even the ridiculous ones. So let's get into it. City Beautiful Guy is truly, truly a nerd. You only play one on YouTube. Wow, did you just question my nerd bona fides? Cause that just makes me really angry. Sorry if you've mentioned before, but can you describe your infatuation with Madrid? To be honest, I'm always kind of infatuated with whatever the last cool city I went to is, which now I'm kind of having a torrid love affair with Mexico City. What can I say? When it comes to cities, I'm a serial monogamist. Do a surface parking downtown list. It would be amazing to see you shame cities that are awful. Oh yeah, that's definitely happening. After my bike video where I made an offer to make a video on the exponential nature of traffic congestion, I got a ton of positive response, including over a hundred likes on this comment from viewer John Kristoff. So yeah, that one's imminent. And in response to the question I put to you in my last Q&A of whether I should ditch the methodology discussion in my videos, viewer John Kristoff said, if you ever stop explaining your methodology or at the very least your reasoning, I will immediately unsubscribe. Well, I certainly can't have that. I've already got kind of a record number of comments on the Freeway Heavy Downtowns video I did last week. And a lot of the comments are just people wondering how it's possible that City X did not make the list. And I did go back and double check some of these and I'm sure they're all bad, but they just don't make the top 10. And I guess I feel bad, but man, I was not prepared for how upset people get when their city doesn't make a 10 worst list. I mean, Detroiters, hasn't your city been through enough? Is being insulted on a small YouTube channel with low production values really gonna make you feel better? Another Canadian who dumps on the US. I am starting to think the Simpsons and South Park are right about Canadians. The land value of a downtown is a function of freeways to bring people in. Seattle will soon find out that its suburbs, including Bremerton, are more valuable than Seattle downtown. I don't really have a response. I mean, that's just solid analysis. You know, in my last video, I kind of wondered aloud why my videos on freeways are my most viewed videos. Tristan Lang says, we don't like videos on freeways because we like freeways. We like videos on freeways for the same reason we like true crime stories. These are the comments that are gonna make this a better channel. Yo, where is this guy from? Sorry, I'm not American, but I can feel a strange accent this dude has. You know, I just got accused of being a Canadian and somebody else said I had a heavy California accent. I mean, I guess you're slowly triangulating on the correct answer, but Keep trying, I guess. Having lived in Atlanta and now Las Vegas, I would say that the grift of the road building lobby holds a lot of sway over politicians at the local and federal level. So much of the Build Back Better program seems to be giving money to the states to build yet more freeway miles, either by widening or making more freeways. I was gonna comment on federal legislation, but I think Ken just kind of did it for me. All right, I'll go watch the aqueduct video I've been putting off watching. Sheesh. Well, now I'm sorry I put off watching. Aqueducts are pretty cool. You're welcome. Video idea, top 10 barbicons. Wow, well, now you're just trolling me. What is the story about your great facial hair? Have you thought about doing a video about this? Double question mark. You know, if I did a special video about facial hair, I might finally get some brand deals. But this was one time only, and you wanted a story, here's the story. I went to a legit Mexican barber shop, and Ernesto, who is highly recommended by the way, absolutely insisted I keep the week's growth I had, which in truth I only had because like I don't have a real job and I was being lazy. The truth is, I'm just not a beard guy. They look sloppy if you don't do a good job maintaining them. They feel gross when you're eating. Eh, well I know a lot of you out there are probably beard guys. Let me know down in the comments what the upside is here. Have you ever been to any of these places? Are you basing this on goggle maps? You know, now that I think of it, I haven't literally been to every sports arena in North America, so, 
Congratulations, you got me. Comment from subscriber Penguin one Great analysis. A suggestion when you do these top 10 videos, can you show an image of the city that is coming up next when you do the number title screen? It's confusing to see random and seemingly international city photos during the number title. This is one I've been getting a few comments on and I'd like some honest feedback. Is it distracting if there's a photo of like Paris or Brussels when I'm not actually talking about Paris or Brussels. It was something I put together for my very first video and I just kind of kept it around for my other top 10 videos because meh, I'm essentially a lazy person. What I'm probably not going to do is create custom number transitions for every video I make because I just don't think it's a good use of my time. But let me know if you have recommendations. I kind of love your videos. Sorry about that. Apology accepted. Can you do where should you live by the New York Times opinion section? My top three cities are Seattle, Minneapolis, and Buffalo. You mean this kind of black box questionnaire thing from a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I did that and it kind of gave me a whole bunch of places in the Bay Area. I am not living in the Bay Area. You know what wasn't an option on the list? Carretero, Mexico. That is actually, I think, the correct answer. And with that, today's actually the last day I'm shooting video from Mexico. You know, when I got here at the beginning of September, I had like 75 subscribers. So a lot's happened over the last three months. And I can't say enough about how much I've enjoyed the places I've been here. The food, the architecture, the awesome intercity buses, but mostly the people have just been amazing. Anyway, I'm off to my next destination in a couple days, but Mexico, I'll be back. Thanks for joining today, and I'll be back with my regularly scheduled video later this week. See you then. Have you ever been to any of these places? Are you basing this on goggle maps? <laughs> uh.